The Raider is a chassis system, okay? What this means is that it is not a firearm. There's no serialized components in the Raider. So all you people who are asking if we can send it to their FFL, if they need to fill out paperwork, you don't. It's just a chassis. Now, the best way for me to explain this in simple terms is that it is much like a Remington 700 chassis, okay? The Remington 700 is a hunting rifle. It's one of the most popular ones ever. And what happens is you can pull the receiver out of the stock that it comes with and you can put it into a different chassis. Now, the reason I say this isn't a stock or even a pistol brace is because the Raider itself does not need to have a stock or a pistol brace attached to it. This by itself, if you put a gun into it, is still just a pistol. So removing the brace or stock and rails if you want to and putting them somewhere else does make this, again, just a pistol. A grip module. Take the P320 here for example. The actual serialized component of the P320 is the fire control group and that is the trigger pack and the rails and internals that come with the P320. So this is important to know because if you can pull out the slide, the trigger pack and everything, pull it out, this grip module right here made out of plastic is no different from the Flux Raider. Now the Flux Raider, you can have it in a couple different variations. There's the stocked versions, which we have, which are a, a plus 3 inch, a plus 1.5, a flush. Those are different stocks and just really just figuring out what's more comfortable for you. So an example of that would be this guy. This is a Raider I've had for a long time, and this is one that I use with an SBR to FCU when I'm in the shop. Um, with the stock on here, yeah, this now becomes a chassis that will turn your pistol into an SBR if you put it in here. Now, it's up to you whether you want to register an SBR or not. That's It's completely up to you because you are the one, you are the owner of the pistol itself, the actual serialized part. This stuff is unregulated. This is unregulated. The only thing that is regulated is the actual pistol itself that is serialized. Now, we shouldn't even have to have this argument because the ATF should not be able to make rules, make laws like this. And for all you people that are saying, like, well, they're not, they're not supposed to, they're not allowed to. It doesn't matter. As long as half the country wants to enforce them as laws, well, then we have to fight through the legal system to get this taken down. Yes, it's unconstitutional. Yes, it's illegal for them to make this, but half the country wants to recognize it as legal. That's the problem. If everybody was rational and everybody stuck to the Constitution and the way the Congress works and the way that these agencies should work, we wouldn't be having this conversation, but we are. And the President of the United States wants to ignore what the law is and what the Constitution is. That's why I have to make this video. So if you are going to buy a Flux Raider, one, make sure you know what your local law enforcement and local laws are. But the Raider itself is not regulated. It is just when you put a firearm into it. I know it's dumb. And I know that, yeah, what's the point of buying a Raider if you can't put your gun into it? Well, you can. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, if you even want to go down the route to SBR your P320, you can do that. People have been doing that for years, ever since we came out with the Raider and the MP17. So it's nothing new to us. People have always been SBRing their fire control units if they want to. But for those who have had the pistol brace, you haven't needed to. Let's just hope that all the lawsuits and everything that's going on right now against the ATF pans out. I have a very high um, hope that it does just due to the fact that so many preliminary injunctions have been granted to the plaintiffs in these lawsuits against the ATF. That's a very good sign that the ATF cannot win in court on their standings. And so either way, this is just a short video to explain the classification of the Raider. A lot of you already knew this, but we've been getting a lot of questions in the emails about it. So no, if you buy a Raider, we don't have to send it to an FFL. It is not a firearm. So I will leave you guys with that. 
and I will make more videos here in the near future. So I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and like.